There is a 1 in 10,000 chance of getting attacked by a shark. There is a 1 in 10,000 chance of getting hit by lightning. There is a 1 in 10,000 chance you will have a great day today. Those are bad odds, but all you need to do is believe. All of this and more in this episode of Can You Mine Diamonds? Plagiarized intros aside, how many diamonds can I mine in only 100 days? 10,000? Well, that would mean I need to mine exactly 100 diamonds every micro day, or 300 diamonds every hour, or, in total, 6 shulker shells of diamonds, just in 33.33333333 hours. That is a lot. But slap a fortune tree on a pickaxe, pull an all-nighter, and you're good, right? Well, let's do some researching first. What I found was Wunba and Carves, who both tried to set like a world record for most diamonds in the hardcore world. But what they did, they yoinked a large chunk of the world using world eaters. Which is cool, but I don't have time to build that. So I started searching for other methods, faster ones. Here's three, so let's go through them. Number one, boring machine. This is a sort of TNT duper, designed by Borken, I believe. I don't know, there's so many copies. It moves forward by pressing the snow block. Don't ask me how, just magic. So I did a test run, 103 in an hour. Oof, that's bad. It also requires many slime blocks, 3 inch in debris, a dead coral fan. I don't have time for that. Anyways, I'm gonna test with 3 machines at the same time just for the sake of it. And I quickly realized this was losing me a lot of diamonds because I was paying too much attention on running between them and moving them forward while some diamonds were getting blown up. More so, they broke down all the time. And the cages in survival to rebuild. 151 diamonds, this idea go in the trash bin. Moving on! Caving. I installed texture packs for full brightness and or glow for this. I don't call it cheating, I call it optimizing the game for the purposes you intend to use it. Well, there's also a mini HUD mod up here, but trust me, this is still vanilla. I hope. Running through caves for diamonds is actually considered by many to be very effective, especially in the new updates. You can see diamonds like miles away. And no surprise, in an hour I got 159 diamonds. My friend in the same test run got 209, so as we can see diamonds are very RNG based. Anyways, number 3. In the beginning I considered strip mining, but thought it would be too boring and too ineffective for this epic content. I also found Waddle's video where he showed a bunch of different methods you can mine, like with skulk or moss, but I didn't find them very useful for my purposes. So anyways, I tried regular strip mining for 30 minutes, just for the sake of it. But holy, 130 diamonds in half an hour. This is the best rate yet, this might actually work. Well, okay, it's, it's not 300 yet, but uh, it's close, I mean. We just need a, a, a bit of luck. With all this in mind, here's the game strat. I will go to diamond level, which is the lower you are, the more diamonds spawn, but not bedrock, so right on bedrock. I'll pick a general direction and mine in that direction until I see or hear a cave. Then I will explore the cave, and once I hit a wall again or something, I will go back to stripping. <laughs> that came out wrong. The first days are very important, because I need to spend as little time as possible getting a max pickaxe. Basically, speeder mode. Which I'm pretty bad at, so I chose the easy way. Spending most of my time collecting wood, which I can then turn into sticks, that I can trade for emeralds. And then, those emeralds for books of enchantment. Usually descended in villager dying. What? What? Or me hitting them on accident. Inflation hit hard. Okay, you know what? Die, die, die. Or me spending like two days changing trades for one villager who doesn't want to give me efficiency five. So I devised a new plan. Speed speed running. Like the real one. Getting a defender, locating the stronghold and taking only books from library for the enchantment table. But as I said, I'm bad at speedrunning. Which is a skill I shouldn't lack while trying to mine 10,000 diamonds in one at a time. But for now, this took too long for me and I couldn't find the library. I know, embarrassing rage quit. Other times I just died, usually to blazes. So can I make the villager strat work for me? Yes. After like 6 attempts, I pulled it off. I got all 4 books and by day 3 was in caves. Although I actually skipped one. I'm breaking three. Because I thought it doesn't give that much durability. In reality, I can assure you it does. So, by barely keeping my pick alive and using every juicy XP source I, I found on my way, my pickaxe finally had enough. And... Attempt seven, I realized I'm not a fish. Attempt eight, this happened. Attempt nine, just zombie, really. Attempt 10, I just gave up. 
So finally, attempt 11. It took me a while though, but by day 5 I was in caves. We can make this work. I leveled up, put the enchants on my pick and started heading north. By day 6 I had enough diamonds to make full armor. So now the suffering can begin. I tried to stay in strip mines knowing that they were the most efficient, occasionally going in caves but all diamonds there were only veins of one block, so not even veins. Day 10 and I'm on 325 diamonds. Now I did draw this graph just for fun, but in fact I did actually make an excel sheet for the entire mining process. <coughs> So I finally started getting a grasp on caving. It turns out these water pools contain a lot of diamonds. Well, you can just see them very well. Day 15, 625. So I just kept mining for however long this is taking, I don't know. Basically, day 20, 791. Day 25, 1072. I'm pretty far behind, so my motivation is running low right now. But the diamonds do look like a lot when I'm holding two stacks of diamond blocks in my inventory. Well, there's only one thing to do now. After making a total distance of about 20k blocks, I finally entered an ancient city. By not paying attention to the consequences that may follow my inadequate behavior right in front of the shriekers, the big guy eventually spawned. Okay, in my brain I momentarily made up a plan which involved digging down, that way putting blocks between me and the warden. In simpler words, I can't see the problem, the problem doesn't exist. But you might already know that the warden doesn't see, he hears. And that's fine, follow me all you want, bitch. I eventually realized his beam can pierce through blocks. <gasps> My last spawn point is thousands of blocks away. I could theoretically fly there and continue, which I did, but that would be cheating. And this run isn't looking very promising, so here, listen, I found a problem. New versions of Minecraft require you to mine through deep slate and run through enormous caves. So what if we go back to simpler times? 1.16.5 I will clear more distance because stone is faster, diamonds spawn more concentrated only between Y levels 0 and 16, and this will be more boring without any caves. But also easier. So with pickaxe in my teeth, here I go. I spawned next to a village, ran around collecting wood, trading sticks, making books. I collected all books and it's only day 2. This is looking good. By day 3 I found diamonds for a pickaxe, but I need level 21 to put efficiency on. This is gonna take a while. Day 5 I have 36 diamonds and final enough levels for efficiency. Now the mining begins. This was a lot more unvaried than previously, I just strip mined for hours. Day 10, 288. This is even worse. But you know, I also made my first stack of diamond blocks which always feels rewarding. Day 15, 710 diamonds. And as you can see, I'm finally getting speed. Why, why am I making X? Okay. <laughs> By day 20 I started to realize that my PC storage isn't looking so great, so I stopped recording 24-7 and switched to instant replay instead. But I didn't turn it on, so here I am. Dead. I swear this this isn't fake. I, I, I just fell in lava and I, I, I blocked myself by casting up obsidian. Okay, as we can see, I haven't gotten further than day 30, which is embarrassing AF, but I'll try and live with that. Now, let's begin the conclusive monologue part. I checked how many diamonds I had every 5 days, and overall, 1.16 had better rates, the best 5 day period being when I mined 754 diamonds. If you do just 2 divisions, you will see that this is quite enough, and theoretically, this challenge is possible. 
but practically, well, there is no set rate, because diamonds are solely based on RNG. If you're mining bamboo, cookies, or melons, where I got this idea from, by the way, there you can improve your methods and improve your rate, like in a tycoon game. Whereas in mining diamonds, you just mine, and you might get 10,000. But in no way can you influence the efficiency of what you're doing. So, in a nutshell, I'm done for starting this project, because it led me nowhere, and I'm disappointed in this video, because it led to no conclusion. If I get a week off my life, I might mine diamonds for 33 hours, but I probably will try something else. I also checked older versions and found the diamond ores were more common in Indo versions. But like, what the f*** is that? And also 1.7 when it was plus 25%. But I'm done mining, so I'm just gonna slowly walk out of the frame here.